everyone, Amanda here from scrimpymummy.co.uk and today I'm going to recreate a project that I made back in May 2017 to celebrate the coming of the brand new 2017 to 2019 in colours. Now these colours are going to be leaving us. I'm not going to waffle on about it too much. There is a blog post today all about this. The only thing that I will say is if you have these colours, get the re get them fast. If you don't have the colours and you love them, go and get them and get them fast. Everything will be going. The inks, the pens, the embellishments, the card, the DSP, everything to do with these in colours will be going and that is Lemon Lime Twist, Berry Burst, Fresh Fig, Tranquil Tide and Powder Pink. I don't have the Powder Pink ink. Um, I got frustrated with it when the lid broke and I threw it in the bin. So I need to go and get another one. So yeah, there's, the, there's a blog post about it and also I'm going to share on there the original link to this project that I'm making. I did make it slightly different back in the day. <laughs> so what we need first of all is we need a piece of Whisper White cardstock and I'm cutting mine and that doesn't fit. Hold on a minute. <laughs> picked up the wrong piece of cardstock. So we need to cut this to six by six. Six by six. Okay. And then I'm bringing in my envelope punch board and I'm going to place it in at the two inch mark. Punch and score. And then I'm going to move it without turning my card, just move it straight up to the three inch punch and score okay and then you f then you um, turn it around and then you follow the lines with the pointer line it up punch and score on each of those lines it's super easy okay so can you see what I've done there you might not be able to see because it's white there we go so we've created a score line at two we've created one at three we've punched and scored and then we've turned around and we've we don't have to we don't measure it up here we just put the pointer on the lines that are already there and use that as our guide okay so that's what we're doing just in case uh, you've not used an envelope punch board before if you haven't, you need to get one, the race, you can make all sorts with these. All sorts of stuff, it's brilliant. Alright, so I'm making myself a small box for some small note cards. I'm not going to make them all, um, I'll just make one and to show you and then you can go away and if you want to recreate, you can. So, fold and burnish all of those score lines, super easy. Please excuse my handmade bandage. I trapped my finger in the French doors in the kitchen earlier and I've took a big chunk out of the side of my thumb. <laughs> but you know, I don't have a first aid kit. I just have a sellotape and kitchen rolls. So that's what we've got. Right, so I'm just cutting up the small tab there to release it and then just gently notching it. And I'm going to do the same at this side. And I'm going to cut at the to the far side of the score line so that then by the time I've notched it out it removes that bulky score line it just helps your project fold together neater and I'm doing just exactly the same at the other end and when this is done it's going to measure about two and a half but no three and a half by about two if my memory serves me right so it just fits little tiny note cards in you can make little envelopes for them if you want um, I'm not doing that today, um, but these are great if you're wanting to send a little gift, crafty swaps or anything like that, or perhaps you do craft fairs, they're awesome, people love little note cards. Um, I'm using snail, um, I'd probably use wet glue so that it's stronger, and then I'm just going to lift that up and I'm going to join those sides together and press those tabs in so you're lining this edge with that edge like so to create yourself a really cute little shallow box alright oops that's not lined up very good 
Do it again. All right, and then each of these will fold over um, like a little like a little envelope. One thing I didn't do was I didn't round them. I forgot to round my uh, pointy bits. <laughs> so another awesome uh, feature of the envelope punch board is the corner rounder. Um, so when you do yours, round those as well. I've stuck mine down now so I can't. So that's my little box made. Super cute. Okay, bob that to one side and then I'm going to create the belly band. Alright, so you need a piece of DSP note cardstock, beg your pardon, and this measures, uh, what does this measure, seven and three quarters by two. It's just about the right size and obviously this is the lovely lemon lime twist. Um, I don't have an awful lot of the other colours left in cardstock and paper. Knowing that these colours are going to go, I've been using them uh, so that I'm not left with a, a load um a load left over. So, we need to score this at, let me concentrate, <laughs> what am I scoring it at? One and three quarters, <laughs> one and three quarters, two and a half, four and three quarters, And five and a half. I can be very sensible when I focus. <laughs> Rest of the time I don't bother. Right, so I'm going to do, the last time when I did this project, I put a strip of DSP down. Now, I had 12 by 12 in colour DSP then, but that has since retired. So instead, I'm going to use the lovely Gingham Gala, because it is the same colour, well, this one is, this is Lemon Lime Twist. So I'm just going to lay a panel there. So let me think, what does that measure? So we're making it up. Uh, this measures two and a quarter by, just short of two. Let me write that down. It's two and a quarter by two, just about. So that means I want to cut my DSP to, I'm going to do two and one eighth. Is that straight? It doesn't look very straight, doesn't that piece of paper? Let's try that side. Two and one eighth. That side's straight. By one and seven eighths. I'm not guaranteeing that's right. <laughs> Yay, it's right. Okay. You could line all the back pieces as well if you want. I'm not going to. Not today. Uh, which do I want? The small squares or the larger squares? I'll have the small squares. All right. I'll just quickly line that up on there. Okay. And then I can just do all of my score lines. And then that should just attach. I'll just run some snail just down the far edge. And then I should be able to line it up. I'm not going to go right up to the edge. I'm going to go just before, just so I've got a little bit of give. And then that will, should, should, <laughs> it should just slide on my box, she says. It should, because it's been measured within an inch of its life, yeah. Uh, if you don't want it to be quite as snug, what you can do is, and um, what I think I might do is just undo it wrap it around your box and then attach it because sometimes you know different card stocks or whatever can make a difference and that fits nice and snug i like them snug i don't want them falling off so that's our box so we're going to do a bit of stamping now can't not do any stamping um a piece of card for my note card so i've chosen this beautiful set which I did use on my original video and it's called Label Me Pretty and each of these has the coordinating punch it's stunning, I love it so I think we'll have um, don't know what I did last time I think a fancy um, happy birthday mm, don't know you're the best, thank you for caring we don't know, we'll have happy birthday why not let's have that Okay, just grab a block. 
go. Just fit on there nicely. Grab my lemon lime twist. I will have to double check I've got all the reinkers myself. Um, I tend to keep hold of my Stampin' Up inks because you just never know when they're going to sneak them back in. Um, so they're always worth keeping hold of. And then you know you've always got a full collection. Oh, look at that, isn't that lovely? Okay. And then my Pretty Label Punch will punch that out just beautifully. Like so. Okay, leave all that there a minute. Let's put that on some dimensionals. And then I'll quickly show you how to make one of the note cards that will fit inside. Get off. There we go. We'll tip that way. And just for a little splash of extra colour. You might think me a bit bonkers, but I'm going to add some bright pink. <laughs> sequins to that lemon lime twist I love the sequins I use them all the time they're just that little bit of something extra out there on your project to just add a pop of colour and I think those are lovely there we go call me bonkers but I like a little, little flash of pink Right, so I'm just going to move that lovely little box to one side now. Isn't that cute? How lovely is that? I mean, I'm putting little note cards in. You could put little sweeties in. You could put some tissue in. That would probably... I don't know if it would hold tea lights. I think it's a little bit narrow. But you could put um, make yourself a little notebook to put in there. Uh, Post-it notes, jewellery, little bracelet or earrings, soaps, all sorts. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to make a little note card now. So I need my trimmer and we need to cut a piece. This is just a random scrap piece. This needs to be seven and a half by, what does it need to be for the card? Let me see. Seven by two. Okay. I wonder if that's long enough. Let me just see if this bit's long enough first before I cut into that big piece. Yeah, it is. I'll use my scraps up first, seven by two. And we're going to score it obviously at three and a half. Okay, and it's just like a little note card. A little thank you, whatever. Whatever takes your fancy. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to round alternate corners like so. Okay. Get that off there, and then we want a little piece of DSP to decorate it. So if that's three and a half by two, let's do three and a half by uh, one and a half, shall we? Why not? So one and a half by three and a half. I'm uh, making this up now. Can you tell? And we'll have. Some adhesive on there and that should just fit nicely across the middle mm, there we go okay and then what you can do is you can have a look in your stamp set what have we got oh that thank you is cute isn't it shall we have that I need to bring a different punch over let me just get out, grab some different punches not sure which will fit. <laughs> I've not planned this bit. So I stick that on there. Put my lemon lime twist back. Oh, my thumb is sore. That does hurt. <laughs> I don't know how I manage that. But there you go. That's a mandolin. <laughs> right. So I'm going to use the one and three eighths of an inch scalloped circle punch and that will just give a little pretty frill to that sentiment and then all we have to do is put it on some dimensionals and that 
and add it to the middle if you've got some lovely ribbon you could use your ribbon up where have I put the sequins that I've just this second used there they are I'm going to I need to use these up so let's get another of these lovely bright coloured oh, I think that I think that looks lovely it's a bit of a funky colour clash but I think it looks really nice on there okay so that is your little note card so obviously you would just make some more <laughs> it's just two in you probably fit I don't know four to five or six in there if you made the matching envelopes you'd probably just fit about four in um, but those are just lovely little note cards for people that do crafty swaps things like that just a nice little gift uh, and you can put that in there uh, and, and you're good to go what fun so don't forget about the new in colours do hop on over to my blog at scrimpingmommy.co.uk feel sorry for me about my poorly thumb and uh, <laughs> I will see you again soon bye